Do you think you could? Yes, and what? No, it's okay. <sighs> Elif, shall we? Oh, never mind. And look who's here, the candy man. Treat for you. And uh, and what happened? Oh, it's it's only candy, and uh, I'm sorry, and I. But what did I do? Frowzy, wake up. We need patience. Get up and smile and tell people who step in. You! Out! Don't come in! And, uh, don't come near! She needs to see you! Oh, it's her! Come in! You! Stay right there! <laughs> now, now, be comfortable. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 he's here, he's here. Elif! Now, Doctor, I am relaxed. Okay, okay, you can sit here. Hi, a dependency, my neurotic. Now, tell me, what makes you cry? <laughs> Uh, depressed with acute anxiety. Perhaps you can tell me what's upsetting her? I don't know. I just reached out for some candy. Reached out? Uh, with my trunk, of course. In that trunk! <laughs> Thought as much. What do you think? Well, the trunk doesn't let me think for it. Suppressed resentment. It doesn't let me think either. <laughs> Delusional. So naturally you feel restricted, sort of uh, lacking freedom and not, uh, not having uh, space. Hey, get this thing off me, uh, will you? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, Doc. You know you have to be careful what you say. Try using signs. Careful, huh? Well, perhaps you wish his trunk would become small. Very small. Tiny, really, really tiny. In fact, not there at all. <laughs> not at all. The trunk is always there. Big, strong, all over the place, in the midst of everything, everybody. We cannot live without the trunk, can we, Elif? Dependent personality disorder. I see. You have a phobia. Phobia? You know, fear of the trunk not being there. Not being there? Uh, no, no, no. Close your... Uh, uh, who's the patient? Both of you, close your eyes and think. Suppose the trunk becomes a sharp axe. It turns upon itself and comes down on... It's eating a hound! Going on a chopping spree! Shoop! 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 Shooping everything in sight! You're so right, Doctor. Doctor? <laughs> what have you done, Doctor? <laughs> How did this happen? Sorry, Doc. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did you come here? Because Aunt was crying. Why? Yeah. Why, Aunt? Because the cherries are gone from the fruit shops. And I haven't had any this season. <laughs> oh, Aunt, I got a trunk full yesterday for you. <gasps> Elif, you and your trunk are wonderful. <laughs> when you have a worry, go buy the sherry. Um, that's what they say will make your day. Thanks for your time, Doc. 
Um, your fee? Keep it for your cherries. Uh, I mean, cherries. Thank you, Doc. We'll come again. I need heavy medication for post-traumatic stress. Frozy, get up. All worries are so small. That's right. Cherries. Cherries? Cherries. Oh, yeah, <laughs> cherries. Make, Make a, a bright, bright, bright world after all.